Hi all and welcome to the video. In this one, it is the channel update for January 2016. Right, as some of you may have spotted, um, and we've reached a bit of a milestone on the channel. I've actually hit 251,262 uh, total views for my little YouTube channel with AO videos and various bits and pieces for um, music and uh, live performance and stuff like that, which I never thought in my wildest dreams would ever really happen. Um, Quite honestly, I didn't. Uh, I thought, oh, I'll, you know, throw up some videos of the band and a couple of videos from AO, and that was years ago. And I never really did much else with the channel. And then just one day decided that I was going to make some decent AO videos. Um, Sharp Tony had stopped making any, so I just thought, well, you know, let's fill that void um, and try and feed people to the game. And off we went. Now, subsequently since then, I have been on a bit of a break from AO for various reasons, uh, which are discussed in the December update. Now then, um, the planned return is likely February now, uh, given that the day I'm recording this is the 27th of January, um, it's most likely going to be middle of February. Um, I'm chuffed to bits with the um, quarter of a million views. I can't believe that. I really can't. Um, but yeah, there it is. Um, so yeah, the I'm likely to return then. Fallout 4. Uh, I'm still enjoying that game. I think um, once it's got some DLC and we get the GEC and all the modding's been done, it will be an awesome game. Although it's not an MMO as a standalone game, I'm still thoroughly enjoying it. Though, at this moment, I can kind of see that we're getting to the end of things to do in the game. I've sort of completed it and managed to achieve a peaceful ending, which I wanted to do from day one and didn't know that that was a thing because I deliberately avoided all um, sort of forums and whatnot about... Uh, <laughs> Fallout 4 in order to not receive any spoilers but as it turns out the game was designed with um, a couple of specific endings where you make a choice side with a faction i.e. if you side with the Brotherhood of Steel um, they will kill off the railroad as well as the Institute if you side with the railroad they will kill off the Brotherhood and if you side with the Institute they will kill off the Brotherhood and the railroad which is um pretty devastating. Now, I didn't want that kind of ending. To my own mind, realistically, I just thought, well, wouldn't it be better if we could all get along? And, uh, <laughs> you know, as, as naive as that may sound, I mean, what's wrong with wanting to live in a peaceful world? So, yeah, I uh, I went that route and, and just did my best, went with the Minutemen, and I wound up where the rail the railroad, the railroad, um, the Brotherhood of Steel, and the Minutemen all live in harmony. Unfortunately, the Institute had to go. And my, my big thing for the Institute was, well, it's all well and good living in an ivory tower or an ivory cellar, for that matter. Um, saying that, you know, the, the mankind that exists above ground now is, is not the real mankind and that you are and replacing everyone with synths is a more natural choice, which to my mind clearly isn't because a synth is not a human. They, they may be sentient, but they're not a human. So in the end, I just thought that elitist um, disregard for, you know, the, the spirit of humanity that survived topside wasn't for me. So I decided that they had to go. Once I decided they had to go, I thought the Minutemen would be the best choice. And there was two reasons for that. The main one was that I didn't want to lose all those settlements I'd built, um, which I thought was a real possibility at the time. So we, uh, I, I, I did it that way. I went in with them and then destroyed it with them. And it, it's left a kind of 
peace really in as much that the least amount of people died in the process, which is not a bad thing to my mind. So that's how that sort of ended. And we're kind of mopping up now in Fallout 4. Uh, Anarchy Online. When I visit the forums, the official forums, I see a lot of the same stuff coming up and up again. Um, the same sort of please stop boxing, which obviously it needs to go. No game needs boxing. Um, and... You know, I kind of bleed on people, although the stuff I'm sort of reading now, bearing in mind I'm not actually in game, um, I'm seeing posts from um, Michi, Majur, or Michi, um, about the new patches. So the wreck has been added to Rubicar. I haven't been there. I have not been there. It's going to be a, a brand new experience for me. And I have got some characters that I think are in level range so i will be taking them to the wreck to have a good look uh, hopefully anonymously at first so i'll try and make a few episodes worth of videos while i go and explore the wreck as where people don't know who i am or who the character is because what's happened before is people go oh you're you're the youtube guy and i'm like yeah yeah that's me and i just wonder if people are as nice as they are because I'm the YouTube guy, or, you know, they're just genuinely that nice. I'd like to think because they're genuinely that nice. So, yes, I will be going off and exploring the wreck, um, which is a kind of a mid-level Rubicar-based area to go and level in, you know, as an alternative to Shadowlands. So there's that to explore. I've got a few ideas in tow for playthroughs. I was thinking of something along the lines of the Froob experience, where I don't let my uh, my, my uh, character join any big guilds or my own guild in fact and just play a completely frube playthrough um, just to see how tough that really feels these days bearing in mind that the frube experience is exactly what we all had in 2001 there wasn't an alternative so yeah there's a there's a few things cooking and I'm looking forward to doing I think the longer I leave it coming back to AO, probably better. I mean, I was gone a week and I wanted to log in. Um, but now I can't wait to log in. So it does. there's a difference in how you feel about it. You, The longer you leave it, the more you, you really just have a yearning to log back into the game and start playing again, which I will do. If Fallout 4 release any DLC, I will certainly um do a blind playthrough on that with the current character i have um it depends on what they release and how it relates to the game ending i suppose and i may do alternate endings because i was at a point where i could have chosen any faction to end the game with so i'm thinking to round off the uh, fallout 4 playthrough i'll go back and to that one save point which i still have and play the the, the main storyline through to the end um you know on that particular character um let's do the railroad uh, the, let's do the railroad ending let's do the brotherhood ending and let's do the institute ending even you know just to sort of know that i've experienced the entire game so yeah that's it for january folks so i will be seeing you back on rubicar and indeed shadowlands um back in february now um and in the meantime <laughs> Bye for now.